Yeah, well, it was a bit. I mean, once again, you look at the platform that they had today. Um, you know, to for us to it obviously gets harder over here. Clearly, the ball's got softer. It's very what you really need is batters set at the back end and. Uh, Bangladesh had that, which um, was an incredible effort by our bowlers to pin them back. But uh, I thought the turning point was the run out tonight. It was a, it was an amazing piece of fielding. Um, you know, you back yourself with Joss set at the back end there. Um, he got his eye and he was ready to go, and, and it really turned the game. We lost two wickets in the over. Thought we had enough of a platform if if one of those two batted through that we would have would have given a big shake at the back end. I think we've been exposed by some, some tricky conditions. I think um, you, know, you, you see it both ways. When batters try to start on wickets that are turning and um, you know, stopping a little bit, it's, it's hard work. And I guess if anything, we've spoken a lot about if you do get in, making sure you bat as deep as you can. Um, so that lessens that impact. And it didn't quite come off today. But as I said, it was a pretty freakish run out. I, I was actually looking at the other end for to see what happened. And all of a sudden, the bales lit up. So. Um, Full credit, that, that, that's a real turning point. Yeah, definitely, um, I think that's a good sound. Um, yeah, definitely, I thought our first 15 overs in the field was probably nowhere near the level that we'd expect. We, we really wanted to finish well here. We th think it's been a, a fantastic tour in terms of um, what we've been up against, a very strong home team. Um, and I thought you know, we, we, were, we were on today. And we, the lead in was good, everyone was up and about, but for whatever reason, and we just um, couldn't get clean hands with the ball um, in the air or along the ground. And crowd opportunities, but um, I suppose the one pleasing thing in the first half was our back five overs. I think we were right under the pump, looking down the barrel, probably even 180 at one stage. So it showed a bit of ticker at the back end to wrestle some momentum back for the break. But I think with the benefit of hindsight, there's still at least 15, 20 runs over par on that wicket. So. Um, yeah, we paid heavily for those mistakes. No, no, no one hurts today. I think, um, yeah, we, as I said, we turned up um, trying to square the ledger a little bit with three and three. I, I, we're really proud of our one day, um, you know, win. I think that's a massive effort. And that's what we come over here um, to, to do well. But to finish the way we did today, um, we'll leave a bit of a sour taste in our mouth. But, you know, it, it also should act as a, as a real um, eye-opener for us on where we need to improve. I think um, Bangladesh definitely outfielded us in most of the games, but particularly today, and that's something that we're going to focus a lot on. Um, as a group, we're definitely in the debrief tonight, that'll get a lot of focus. Just, just the energy, I think. Uh, last game we found it and we were pretty imposing, but we've, we've got time and that's what we, we'll need to do and turn up when we, um, we get back together at the back end of the summer. No, not really. No, we've discussed that at length. I think um, if you look at how many players we've exposed this year alone, um, we've gone a fair way down the depth charts. And you know, the, the realisation that we're probably better off investing in some, some batters there that were put under pressure in these games. And you only learn from your mistakes. And I think um, yeah, the opportunities that they've been given here will give them time to reflect. And when we get into pressure situations in World Cups, so I'm confident that it was the right decision.